Hi, this is Patty Jackson. On this edition of Patty TV, it's always good to have a good-looking man. Uh -oh. Laz Alonzo is joining us, the star of Jumping the Brooms. You've seen him on the a &E series Breakout Kings. You've seen him in the movies Avatar. You were blue in there. I was blue. Yeah, you was blue in there. So you probably <laughs> like, is that that blue guy I saw? Still a little blue. <laughs> still, <You know? laughs> still a little blue. Miracle at St. Anna. We've seen him in movies playing kind of like the bad guy sometimes, mm -hmm. but in Jumping the Broom, he plays the groom. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you for having me. I love this movie. Do you? And it's amazing. It it it's it's love, romance, shirts off. You tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, shirts off. <laughs> Men and women. We all take our shirts. No, you know, it's it's just one of those movies where I feel like, you know, you really get uh, uh, that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. You know, love is still alive. Mm -hmm. And even though we may have disagreements, even though sometimes we don't always see eye to eye. You know, sometimes you may fall in love with somebody, but that doesn't necessarily mean that your families are going to fall in love with each other. You know, but at the end of the day, love prevails. You know, and I feel like ultimately that's the message in this movie. The cast is incredible. Paula Patton, Loretta Devine, Angela Bassett, Lil Romeo, Tasha Smith, Mike, Mike Epps, Epps, who was incredible. Wait till you see him in this movie. Yes. Who else? Uh, Valerie Pooch Pooch Hall. Hall. Pooch Pooch Hall. Hall. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like, the chemistry on the set? The chemistry on the set was it was magical. I mean, everybody got along. Uh, everybody basically wanted to see each other shine. You know, nobody was stingy. Everybody was very, very gracious and giving as an actor. You know, so I feel like people shine the brightest, and the film itself shines the brightest when everybody wants to see the next person do do yes. well. You know, and we were all very supportive of, of supportive of each other. Uh, I remember at the end of the film when when we had the rap party, Angela Bassett pulled me to the side. And she started telling me how she felt about the work that I that I did in this film, mm -hmm. and I it almost moved me to tears, you know, because here's somebody that I felt honored and lucky to be on the same screen with her and, and share scenes with her, and she's telling me how she felt, you know. So it, it was one of those moments that I feel like you know when you watch the film you feel that magic, uh, just shine through. Bishop T.D. Jakes, Tracy Edmonds came together to bring this movie. How was it working with them? Because Tracy Edmonds, of course, long history when you think of soul food. Mm -hmm. Bishop T.D. Jakes, we know him, the Potter's House. What more can you say? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, everybody just, just really brought their strong point to the table. And Bishop T.D. Jakes also acts in this movie. Yes, he does. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in the film as well as as our bishop. And, you know, he's giving us marital counseling. And he's a great actor. Mm -hmm. You know, so I feel like everybody really, from the top down, you know, the, the, the key executive at Sony that hel held this movie together, Devon Franklin, you know, he's responsible for a lot of hits that you've seen, you know, Will Smith uh, behind. Um, uh, uh, Tracy Edmonds, you know, Soul Food. Uh... Bishop T.D. Jakes, you know, Salim Akil and Mara Brock Akil. You know, Salim, this is his directorial debut, but wow. he's responsible for, you know, Girlfriends. And the game. The game. Mm -hmm. You know, so behind the lens and in front of the lens, you have all these people who, who just are great at what they do. And everybody just brought their A game to the table. So I'm very proud of this movie. I feel like it's one of the best that I've ever worked in. This is Laz's time, Sunday night to 10, A&E, Breakout Kings. Give us a little brief synopsis because it's a great show. So Breakout Kings basically is about uh, these two U.S. Marshals, myself and my partner, Dominic Lombardozzi. We put together this team of convicts, mm -hmm. uh, and it's a different approach to catching convicts on the run. We're using, you know, the brain and the psyche of a convict to catch a convict. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's where you kind of see, you know, how how they think when they're running it's not conventional thinking you know so and the show's doing really well you know it's bringing a nice audience to A&E a nice younger audience to A&E something that they've been wanting to do for quite some time and and A&E really has supported the show tremendously so you know it, it's just been a very very good situation for us and you know we're looking forward to hopefully having a season two yeah, well, good luck with your success. May Thank God you. continue to bless you. Thank this you. is his time. Sunday night to 10 on A&E Breakout Kings. Jump in the broom. It opens in theaters on May 6th. Make sure you go out and get it. It's Mother's Day weekend. Yes. Makes a great mama wants to see a great movie. The whole family. The whole family. Jump in the broom is it. Last. Thank you so much. Some Thank love. you. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right now.